It's being called the it bag of the year, the oversized YSL e-car shopper tote bag. It's been worn by celebrities like Angelina Jolie, Sydney Sweeney and Hayley Bieber, but is it really worth the money? There's nothing worse than making an expensive designer purchase and it not working out because luxury regret, my friends, is real. So don't be making an expensive mistake. Find out everything that you need to know about this bag in today's video. I'm going to be covering price, dimensions, what fits inside, outfit styling, pros and cons that I can see with this bag. And at the end of the video, my final verdict is the YSL e-car tote bag really worth the price tag. Hey everyone, my name is Steph. If you are new to this channel and love all things luxury, make sure you join us by hitting the subscribe button and the bell down below because we get it and not everyone does. As we go throughout this video, we will also be scoring this bag on wearability, value for money, security, and the overall wear and tear, how I think this bag is going to look in a year's time because it is a brand new release so we don't know exactly if you like this new format of video please do let me know in the comments down below so that you can shop the e-car bag really easily i have popped a link in the description box for you so you can head over to the saint laurent site and order yourself one if you like the look of it let's dive straight in with first impressions. If you are a subscriber, you might have seen that I actually unboxed this bag a few weeks ago now on my YouTube channel. And I know that this, because it is being described as the it bag right now, a lot of you are wanting as many reviews as you can possibly get on this because it is quite an investment. Okay, let me show you slightly closer up here. So we have the brushed metal gold hardware on the front. It doesn't look like it will scratch too easily. This is made from lambskin leather. It is very soft and luxurious feeling, but it is very squishy. That is worth noting. This bag is currently stuffed. On the back, it is just plain black leather here. The handles, you only get one like handle option for this. You can wear it on your shoulder like so, or you could carry it on the crook of your arm. Let's take a quick look inside of the bag. So you do have a compartment at the back here with a zipper, and then it also comes with a detachable small pouch here, which would actually be great for cosmetics. And there's no YSL on it though, it is just plain black, which I know a lot of people are saying this is a shame because then you could kind of use it as a clutch, but this actually looks more like a cosmetics case. I think Saint Laurent have done that on purpose. And then here you get this detachable chain with the bag, which you can actually attach to the small case here so that you know, you don't lose it in the bottom of the bag, or you can push it through the hole on the other side of the bag here like so and then it basically pinches the bag in like that and then once you've rearranged the bag slightly kind of have to pull the sides there it then squishes into quite a different shape of a bag so it makes it quite a bit smaller so let me show you what this looks like you then don't get these bits like sticking out here and you can wear it like so. So overall first impressions are, this is definitely quite an iconic piece. Everyone that I know that has seen this bag in real life, and this is exactly how I felt when I first saw it, is wow, that bag is big, and it's definitely not for everyone. I feel like it's very much a bit of a Marmite kind of bag, but for me, there's parts about it that I love, but there are also parts about it that I don't love so much. I'll cover those in the pros and cons. I also really like that it comes with the ability to cinch the sides of the bag in. It feels very luxurious and soft, and also that extra little pouch is a really nice feature. It's just a shame it doesn't have the logo. So I would actually give this out of a score of five for first impressions, a four out of five. It is very much a bag that leaves an impression on you when you see it because it is so big and quite different to anything else that's on the market right now. Now a score out of five for wearability. As I've mentioned, you can only wear this either on the crook of your arm or on your shoulder like this. I have heard a few people say that these can quite easily, because this is soft lambskin, fall off your shoulder and then your bag is literally going to be wide open. So I feel like you would have to kind of sit with it and hold it like this if you are walking around quite a few places. 
And then with it being a big bag, you can't distribute the weight of this bag uh, onto either side of your body. You have to literally move the bag. Um, I'm basically saying with large size bags, personally, I prefer a cross body strap and that will help to distribute the weight across the body. And it means it frees up your shoulders and arms, especially if you do decide to pack this bag out with really heavy items. I definitely wouldn't want to be carrying it too far. So from a wearability point of view, I would give this a three out of five stars. It is a shame there's no option to crossbody this, but at the same time, I guess the style of the bag wouldn't really lend itself very well to that. The price, if you want this bag, it's gonna cost you, especially after the last price increase oh my gosh okay so this retails in the uk 3620 pounds in the us it retails at 4900 dollars 4900 dollars nearly $5,000 for this bag. In the early November price increase, we saw a $900 increase in the US and a 510 pounds, I believe it was, in the UK. Um, so yeah, we've seen some huge increases on this bag. And I definitely think the fact that so many uh, celebrities, influencers have picked this bag up and it has been described as the it bag of the year has definitely enabled Saint Laurent to put their prices up on this bag so, so much. Rating out of five for value for money, I would give this bag around three out of five stars for value for money. It does feel like a really luxurious bag. The lambskin is really soft, the hardware is really beautiful, and you get the extra pouch. But I will say you can get, and this is being compared to the Chanel 22 bag, which again is a full leather bag and a very similar style. This currently retails in the UK around four and a half thousand pounds. So it is more expensive than the e-car tote, around a thousand pounds more expensive, but a lot of people arguing that Chanel as a brand uh, holds its value much better than Saint Laurent. I definitely think I would have considered a four out of five stars if the small cosmetics pouch inside of the bag had the YSL logo on, like a little logo, and then you could maybe justify the really high price point because you would have two bags that you could use. But sadly, that's not the case. Now let's go over dimensions and then we'll be taking a look at what fits inside. I'm pretty sure the kitchen sink will fit in this bag though. Okay, dimensions are as follows. We are 43 centimeters high. We are around 58 centimeters wide when the bag is open like this. And we have a depth of approximately eight centimeters. But that, my friends, can obviously change because as you open the bag out, you definitely get more depth. So this is like the Neverfull on steroids. Now let's take a look at what fits inside. First then, let's start with the cosmetics pouch, which within itself is actually quite big. Um, just to demonstrate, I have a 100ml bottle of perfume here, uh, a lipstick, and there's still so much room, so you could definitely get all your makeup pieces in here. This is perfect for travel. Can't really show you because the light isn't really shining in the bag, but there's loads of room. Here is my 16 inch MacBook that fits in there. This is a full size book here hardback quite a big one you could fit any size book pretty much my noise cancelling headphones my ipad my card holder my small louis vuitton purse you get a full size purse in here my keys a bottle of water even though this one's empty right now and all that fits in fine now i will say the bag is heavy because these items are heavy but as you can see we can still get quite a few more items in here if you really needed to like it's actually amazing how much fits inside here and this huge zipper pocket this has got my card holders and keys in and we could get more in there too now that we know what fits inside i want to give this a security rating out of five because it is a large tote bag and it is very open I would give this bag a two, maybe two and a half stars in terms of security. If you are in a busy city, there is no way currently, unless you've got a liner with a zip, I don't know if these exist yet, but someone could easily put their hand into your bag, especially if you don't have the sides cinched in. So from a security point of view, if you're planning to use this every day, I think there are better options. One would actually be the Givenchy Antigona, the soft one. I really love that one. That one has a zip across the top and also comes with a crossbody strap. It's also quite a bit cheaper than the e-car from Saint Laurent. But just to throw that out there, if you are planning to use this in busy locations and you are worried about pickpockets, this probably isn't going to be the best bag to go for. Now that we know what fits inside, let's try this bag on with a few different outfits. 
outfits to give you some inspiration on how you might style the bag and also what it looks like on for reference. I am five foot six in height. Outfit number one. So I've cinched the sides of the bag in just because I prefer the look of the bag this way. Here is a lily silk dress. I will link it down below. This is in like a bottle green and it is in the most amazing silk. I think this works really, really well with the Icar tote bag, like just the luxurious look of the lambskin. Here I have on a white long line Karen Millen coat. Again, I will link it down below if it's still available and wearing it on the crook of the arm or putting it on your shoulder. It's a statement piece, but she's so chic. I love this. I find that this bag works better with like solid colors like this. And here I have on my All Saints Paula coat. So this is a long line black coat. I've got my trousers and a jumper on here. Team this with some trainers. We've got like a super chic look, whether you are heading into the office or into town. I really love this look. Like it just goes with all black. Even though we've got all black, like just the glint of the gold on the bag, I think looks beautiful. Now let's go through some quick fire pros and cons before I reveal my final verdict on this bag. Is it really worth the price tag? Pros, it is very chic looking. It is very in fashion right now. Black lambskin with the gold hardware goes with absolutely everything. Another pro is simply that it is huge. There are not many bags this size on the market right now. If you are planning a weekend away or if you know going on an aeroplane, traveling, this is great because the fact that it extends out and it's so flexible, you can put in here some extra layers of clothing, uh, some footwear or your cosmetics. I really like, and I know that the Louis Vuitton Neverfull has been a popular tote bag for a very long time now because they are just so flexible. You can fit so much inside. Like I said, this is kind of like the Neverfull on steroids. I really like that you can cinch the sides of the bag in and make the bag a little bit more secure and smaller. And you also get the little cosmetics kind of case or you could use it for something else inside, which is a nice little touch to go with the bag. And finally, and this is a really great pro about this bag that until I actually have it here and can see it, it's actually really lightweight. For a bag of this size, it's not too heavy, even with the hardware on here. I've definitely felt this size bag much heavier from other brands. Cons of the e-car bag, the most obvious one, the one most people talk about, and that they cannot believe how expensive this bag is, nearly $5,000. Saint Laurent is a great brand. I do really love their bags. I do have quite a few in my collection, but it is a brand that does not hold its value so well. Uh, so personally, if you think this is a super expensive bag, I would keep an eye out on the pre-loved market and see what starts to come up over the next few years, but you could be waiting a while. The other con is that this bag is made from full lambskin. Now, a few of you have kindly contacted me and let me know how your bag is wearing and tearing. And you actually said that leather is holding up really well, so it hasn't scratched too much but lambskin is one of those fabrics that you do want to be a bit careful of. So rather than Louis Vuitton canvas, for example, it is coated canvas, it is really hard wearing. It's definitely not going to scratch unless you get a really deep scratch. This might scratch a bit sooner. So you kind of need to weigh up. Do you wanna go for the looks, but maybe have to baby the bag a little bit more? Or do you get something that is more durable? Another con for this bag is how soft it is. So it does feel very luxurious because it is soft, but because the bag has no structure, it simply, it just literally crumples in your hand. Now I have seen a few of these on display. You might be able to see what's happening with this bag right now, just sat on my hand. It kind of just molds around my hand here. I have seen some on display and the bottoms of the bags are literally crushed. So the only way to store this bag is literally to stuff it and make sure it is hung somewhere. So you might want a bag hook if you are taking it out and about or lay it down. Otherwise, over time, this leather will crumple up. You will start to see more crumples and marks in the leather around stress areas like that. So it's definitely worth bearing in mind. I'm very interested to see as this bag ages, what it looks like, but I definitely think storage and thinking about how you put this bag down is very important if you want to keep it looking newer for longer. 
wear and tear score out of five then so obviously this bag here is new i have not worn it and um, but some of you have given me feedback and just kind of knowing what i know about bags and the fabrics i would give this a three out of five stars for wear and tear i don't think this plaque here is going to scratch too easily unless you literally specifically scratch it which is a really great thing but with the lambskin i am mostly concerned about the corners and the bottom of the bag crumpling up and also if you wear the bag cinched in all the time what that might do to the sides of the bag i don't think it's going to scratch as easily as i first thought it would do but it's more just the structure of the bag and making sure it stays in a really nice condition that's why i've given this a three out of five stars so as an overall score for this bag from first perceptions to wearability to security and wear and tear that i can see happening with this bag I would give it a three out of five stars. So my final verdict, and this might surprise some people, I'm not too sure, is this bag worth the price point? I really do like this bag. I think it's really different from anything out there that is on the market right now, but my final verdict is I do think this bag is overpriced. And this is specifically because we have just had a huge price increase on this bag. To say that this is nearly $5,000 in the US, I just think there are some really interesting competitors for this bag. Let me share a few with you that I would seriously consider as an alternative. So like I've mentioned, a slightly more expensive one is the Chanel 22 bag. This retails around a thousand pounds more in the UK than the Icar does. But Chanel is arguably a better brand than Saint Laurent in terms of its investment and resale value. These bags are actually, uh, they come in different sizes, they come in different colors, which the Icar doesn't right now. But but then on the cheaper side of things, a bag that kind of reminds me of this, even though it's not a tote bag, you've obviously got the like Louis Vuitton Neverfalls, um, but they are so done now. Uh, one of the bags that I really, really like is the Givenchy Antigona in the soft version. They come in a really large medium size. This is about, I would say around a thousand pounds, even more than that, cheaper than the Icar. But not only that, you get the security of a zip and they are much more low key. So they are less likely, you know, people putting their hands in. It does say Givenchy on there, but it's quite small. And the leather again is exceptional. It is heavier than the Icar bag. And again, if you do really like the big logo, this one doesn't have that. But if you are looking for something that is practical, that is big, that is more secure, and that is quite a bit cheaper, I would seriously consider the soft and to go now. But like anything, if you love it, you should absolutely go and buy one if you know it will work for you, if you love the look of it. This bag definitely has some really appealing points to it. And again, if you love it, you should just go for it. You won't get it cheaper than what you can buy it for today from Saint Laurent, unless you go down the pre-loved route. I'm also very excited to see if Saint Laurent bring this out in different sizes and different colors. And I know you guys are as well, because when I unbox this in my triple unboxing video, a lot of you said you are waiting for this bag in different colors and sizes. For weekends, away, spa days, traveling, I do think this could be a really great contender and a serious one to consider. Another question that I get asked a lot is, do I think this is a good investment bag? Do I think it will hold its value. Um, I think it will hold its value fairly well. From what I have seen before the price increase, these were actually selling on the pre-love market for about a thousand pounds, maybe like $1,200 less than RRP, which is actually quite usual for Saint Laurent because these bags are generally readily available. Like all their range is, they don't have so many like limited edition pieces. You definitely see a decrease in the value that you pay. Hence why I said, if you do want to make a saving, I would definitely look to the pre-love market for this. I really hope this video has helped you. Please do give me a thumbs up if it has, but make sure you don't go anywhere because coming up next and in my latest video release here for you and over here, we are going luxury shopping in London. There is so much eye candy in this video. We check out all the latest from our favorite designer brands. 